But whenever he's around, you must hear either my mom or the other wife being beaten every time. And we're kids, so we don't even know the reason, but he locks them inside when he wants to do that. So when he comes, the parlor is like his room. And my mom got injured one day when he used a torch light. That old, um, was it three batch or two tag, used that to hit her directly on the eye like this. And that eye became injured with blood. And that was 99. She left that night to one old woman like that. So the woman kept us there for till the next day. And she found a way to leave being wasted and return to her parents. So my mom was just his girlfriend that they started dating because he was a friend to my mom's elder sister. And he used to come to check on his, his friend there and fell in love with my mom. I, I was born in Benue State, Boko precisely. I came to meet a polygamous family because my dad had other wives before my mom. Some were already um, divorced and some died. My mom was third wife and the fourth wife was my mom's friend. My name is Odobi Joseph Ina. Surname is Odobi, Joseph first name and other name is Ina. Odobi actually means a warrior. Somebody that's very strong, like in a warrior's team, is the Odobi among them. So like other warriors look up to them. Then um, the Joseph, the Bible name, and Ina. Ina means light. My both parents come from the same Cross River states and Bikwara local government. But my mom is from the Biragidi in Bekwara of Ogoja now. My dad is from Gakim. And my mom's family is um, like the royal family. So they, they are the chiefs of their own community there, like their parents. And my dad is the warrior family in their own community. They are, like, they are not really the chiefs, but they can be crowned chiefs too. They started dating and in their own culture then, the men that are strong don't get married to women like pay dowry or bride price. They can just kidnap you. It's something like a kidnap. So they just take you away. But your parents will know later that you are with them and you're not coming back because you are, you are married. So that's how he took my mom. But they were friends with her consent. So they went to Benue and I came first before my younger sister. That was in 93 when I was born. Then my younger sister came later. We left in 99. I remember the year now. We left in 99. Okay, so that was when we left Benue and came to Cross River back because of my dad's attitude towards my mom. And that was how we, the family broke there again. So um, my, my dad used to be very, very aggressive because you know, you know he, from the background, a warrior family, so he, he was always like powerful, powerful man. You know? So every time, we're even scared whenever we hear he's coming. You have to behave yourself, even as little as we were. Like, you have to. My elder, elderly, like the grown up ones, they don't stay with us. They don't cope well with us at all when they come. It's always boxing, boxing every time with him. He fights them like this guy, like this fellow, so they don't like to stay. They go to their mom's places and stay. But we were small, so we were there. But he was beating up my mom every time. Every time, like, I don't know what happens every time, but... So, oftentimes, I see my dad, when he, he rarely was around with us like that. He goes out every time. But whenever he's around, you must hear either my mom or the other wife being beaten every time. And we're kids, so we don't even know the reason, but he locks them inside when he wants to do that. I didn't know what was my mom's offense or the other wife's offense, but both of them were never having a good time with him 
in the, in the family like that. She only came to visit my mom. My dad had that, um, well, is it history or story too? Like, if he lives in this place and there are maybe 10 girls, he will sleep with almost all of them. All of them. That's what he does. So, like, the story has been there. Like, that has all those kind of crazy, crazy stories that I had growing up. Uh, I'll just be like, maybe because of his name, Odobi. So, he acts like Odobi every time. My mom started a small business. God favored her in that business. She was able to take care of us till I became like. Uh, when I went to primary school under her, till I finished primary school, me and my kids, uh, but she was still in school when I finished. And she was the one taking care of us, everything. Until she met this policeman that got married. That one paid her dowry. I got married to her and paid because my dad didn't do all of that. So they accepted it from him. Because my dad had come back again for, I think her hand he married properly one time and the family refused to accept anything because they said if for free he was treating her like this, what will happen when, they, when he has paid already for her? He will just kill her. So they refused to collect anything from him and he left his stuff. Actually became an orphan. But before then, music is what makes me happy, and I wanted to use music to um, like bring joy to the world for me. So, because I was passionate about music in school, when I moved to Lagos, I had recorded songs already. So, and I knew that Lagos was the market for music. My music is Afro and commercial, so I felt coming to Lagos would be nice for me to. It would be an opportunity for me to maybe get signed, but. The music was still in my blood, like I write songs everywhere, every day I record, anywhere I am, I'm recording, voicing, so, so I was just crazy about music, like how do I just, I don't know how I could just maybe have everything I need and just be in the studio, that's all I wanted to just do. She's late now, she died 2000 and after lockdown, just shortly after lockdown. The only thing I cared about very much, like my music, if I could do anything, is just that music. But as my name is different from the next to be heard, I was just hoping that someday, presently, I have songs that have written and recorded some, but I've not mastered any song. So dropping a song for me now is going to be, um, <sighs> I have to finish produ producing like something quality. Something I can market. Okay, so I told you I became an orphan from a bro broken home, yeah. polygamous home again, and felt with a lot of violence or uh, abuse. I did a song I titled uh, Give Me Love. Give Me Love. So, Give Me Love is a song that speaks about um, my is actually my dad picture that I, I, I pictured the a man that is repentant is the man he's the man that wants to repent in me now you know like I'm just putting myself there like if I were my dad I would just be this man for the for my family I'll just be this good man that wants to just take care of them make them happy give them the best life you know, so I made a song, give me, give me, give me one chance, make I right my wrongs. Give me, give me, give me one dance, make I play my song. Give me, give me, give me one chance, make I right my wrongs. Give me, give me, give me one dance, make I play my song. Tonight, my one, no woman, war. Cause if it happened, he'd be dead, war, war. No war, no war. He now, no war. 